Hello, and welcome to the Spartan News Update. I'm Lisa Clem. And I'm Anna Yarnell. This is your news update for this week. East Lansing City Council held a regular special meeting last Tuesday to discuss the installation of Crown Castle 5G small cell towers in the area. The council to appoint a new committee to look further into the investigation. Members of the audience spoke their opinions on small cell towers projects. The council also gave an overview of a grant for Valley Court Park. East Lansing resident Lori Lockman shared what brought her and her husband to the meeting. What brought my husband and I here was the discussion about the proposed um, 5G small cell towers. So I, um, I thought the meeting was well done in terms of going over its agenda and trying to solve one topic. McDonnell Residence Hall hosted a community space event on Monday evening. The gathering took place in the Kiva, located between the east and west sides of McDonnell Hall. Residents and non-residents were greeted with coloring sheets, various board games, music, and pizza. The purpose of the event was to let students unwind after returning to classes and bring the MSU community together in a relaxed and friendly environment. I think it's really nice that they have events like this for people who don't live nearby and people like us who do live here. It's really nice to have the sense of community and just interact with other people and you know, get some food and listen to some music and have a good time. Michigan State University recently made changes to their building security. All the buildings on MSU's campus now lock at 6 p.m. The recent change stemmed from the horrific shooting that took place at Michigan State on February 13th. Entry to buildings after 6 p.m. is only accessible with an MSU ID. Michigan State is hopeful that this precaution will create a safer environment for all Spartans. More precaution updates are being shared day to day. Honestly, it's made me feel a lot safer since coming back to campus that they're now locked at 6 p.m. and that you need like your personal MSU ID to get into a building. I mean, personally, being in Brody like during the whole shooting, um, I felt you know a little bit more safer per se knowing that only students with their IDs like registered to Brody could get into it. So. Michigan State University's spring concert will take place this upcoming Tuesday at the Breslin Center. Tickets are available to students for $10 and general public for $35. Tickets can be purchased online at the Spartan Ticket Office or at the front doors before the concert. UAB, Impact 89 FM, RAH, and ASMSU are the organizations putting on this event. This year's 2023 spring concert is Hippocampus with Danny Brown opening and I'm so excited. Hippocampus is one of my all-time favorite bands. I've been obsessed with them since like sophomore year so to be able to see them live at my own university is just a dream come true and a dream I didn't know I really had but I'm very very excited for Tuesday. Lansing Community College resumed classes and operations this week after a cybersecurity incident that prompted a suspension of operations. In-person classes, including hybrid courses that required an in-person meeting, resumed Tuesday. Internet access was discontinued due to the threats that triggered an investigation. Classes that didn't require internet access were still held. However, all online exclusive courses are paused indefinitely. Yeah, there hasn't really been any like communication, like open communication. And I would assume it's because like our professors couldn't reach out to us like through our school email or anything because that was all shut down. Michigan State University celebrates 150 years with the Beale Botanical Garden. The garden serves as an outdoor laboratory and classroom for the study of plant biology, biodiversity, sustainability, and conservation. There's over 2,000 different taxa that can be found, and now, as the school celebrates, there will be new signs designated to educate visitors about broader topics. The garden is home to the school's students and hopes to hold more events as the warmer weather kicks in. It's so peaceful. I love like when I just need some space for my dorm or time to think. It's a great place to come sit and have quiet. Yeah, just come read and like when it's greener. That's all we have for tonight's show. I'm Lisa Clem. And I'm Annie Arnold. Don't forget to visit us on SpartanNewsroom.com.